Have you ever been in love? Do you know my I speak of? Have you felt the burn of your heart? Make you crazy, so insane. One moment, pure joy, the next one, pain. Have you wondered what is wrong with your brain? Have you ever, have you been in love? You convince yourself that you want to give it up. Just can't get enough. Oh, ooh. Oh, oh. You think you know what's real? But nothing matters When he looks at you You see your dreams In his eyes So blue Have you ever Have you been Have you ever Have you been Have you ever Have you <laughs> Thanks. Hi. Okay. My name is Ria. We already figured out that we've got we and Brie and Re, and then pretty soon Anthony Free is going to come up. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, so my name's Ria, and I'm excited to be here. This is the first time I've met Eric and Rachel. I've heard everything about Dharma Den sessions, and I'm really excited. I've been looking forward to this. And yeah, I am going to sing a song that I wrote about New Orleans. Because I love New Orleans. And it's about a boy, too, but we'll just say it's about New Orleans. You told me from the start Unavailable was your heart But your body for a time was mine Between us lie many miles My dear, it's been a while Now I long For you Could we French 
Richmond Street Where brass bands keep the beat Your hands upon my hips Lean down and sneak A kiss where you come Is around oh meet me there we'll finally share our favorite town oh, 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 oh. come on let's go I'll meet you there So funny enough, Anthony is New Orleans bound. Is that right? <laughs> He's going to be down there Monday? Or leaving at least on Monday. <laughs> it's a good spot. You know the brass bands in the middle of the night? Have you, have, have you been to New Orleans? Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. You did! Oh, Jazz Fest is so great. Okay, well, who was your favorite that you saw? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. They have a mixture, though, now. Like, you can go to the gospel tent and the, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this next song I'm going to request audience participation. Are you okay with that? You, like, you're all right with participating? All right. So <laughs> this song I wrote about the sad life cycle of the piñata, uh, <laughs> and this song came about because, I don't know how many years ago, a few years back, I was a piñata for Halloween, right? I had this amazing homemade costume, and I, I loved it. I was stuffed full of candy, and you could actually hit me with, like, one of those pool sticks, and then I would throw candy. It was amazing. Uh, and so I, I was a piñata, and the guy I was dating at the time was the birthday boy, and we went to a Halloween party and all this, right? So then, like, three days after Halloween, we broke up. And I was crushed, and I remember just like crying and being so sad and being like, I'm broken like the piñata. And then I thought, there's a song in there. <laughs> so I wrote the song, it's ridiculous. And the verse, uh, sorry, the chorus um, goes, piñata, 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 and what I love from you is, and I'll tell you when, to say, hey, hey, hey. And then I say, piñata, piñata, what a sad, sad life, and then I need a real sad song, like, sound, like, mm -hmm. So, um, not the first time, but I'll, I'll, I'll let you know when it's time for you to come in. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. the ground, bust it open, look what I found, you give to all around, and sweetness abounds, ready, piñata, 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 hey, 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 so colorful and bright, piñata, 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 what a sad, sad life, yeah. mira que encontré Mira como te caíste con tu dulce tirado en todo el piso oh, piñata 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 so colorful and bright piñata 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 what a sad sad life oh, oh, oh. 
Chicas dulces en tu panza Caramelos deliciosos Romper tu cuerpo Es nuestra alegría Oh, piñar, piñar, piñar Bet you never thought about that. <laughs> so I'm, a, I'm also a sign language interpreter. And uh, I have very good friends who are trilingual. So they, they're sign language interpreters and they speak Spanish and interpret Spanish. And, and I had them sit down with me and, and perfect those verses so that they made sense. And uh, it cracks me up every time there's a line in there in Spanish that says, we beat you for our pleasure. <laughs> Cracks me up. <laughs> okay. So this next song is uh, the most recent song I've written. I was thinking about, oftentimes I'll sit down and write when I'm heartbroken or there's some kind of sadness there, it's just cathartic. And um, I, for a lot of years I actually like all blues songs. It was all like heartbreak songs. And <laughs> uh, at some point I realized, mm, like there's so much more to say, right? But this, this last, um, this next one, it's called I'm Keeping That. And I, I thought about the idea that what if I were just to be happy with what we had, like the memory of it, that it was wonderful instead of to be sad about it. Um, and yeah, this one just came out. Of, this is one of those songs that came out of me really quick too. It's, songwriting is funny. It can be a lot of different, come out in a lot of different ways. But this one was like, it just had to get out. Um, and yeah, it's called, I'm keeping that. Do you remember the way it was under the stars? Floating in water Just us Moment is past And I won't wish it back
I just actually got back from Hawaii, and I just bought this little uke. Um, one of my best friends moved. She, she fell in love with a guy who's from Hawaii. She moved to a, his farm. They live on 10 acres, and it's amazing. It's in Kauai. I don't know if you've been to Kauai, but uh, the, the farm is a koa tree farm. They have coffee and other things, too, but koa wood, and this is made of koa, so it's very special. And um, when I was over there visiting my friend, we had the best time writing this song together. And we, we wrote it uh, about our experiences when I was over there, um, actually in the, in the middle of the pandemic when things were really crazy in lockdown, I went over there. And Hawaii was so strict that for two weeks I couldn't leave the farm. And uh, it was crazy. The, the National Guard would come by randomly and ask for my license to, to, or my passport or whatever to make sure I was there. So it was like, it was intense. So I was stuck, quote unquote, stuck on this farm in Hawaii for two weeks. And then we went crazy on the island after that, um, after the quarantine was up. But, but that was when we started writing the song. And then I visited her again just recently and we wrote the second verse. So I'm going to test that out on you. Thank you. 
like how I, I fit in the, the state fish, the huma huma nuku nuku apua. <laughs> I love that part of the song. I 